in this video we can discuss about the evaluation of disinfectants as we all know disinfectants are the chemical agent which are used for the disinfection and the disinfection action may be either by killing the microorganism that mean bactericidal action or by inhibiting the growth of microorganism that means bacteriostatic action so the disinfectant can be evaluated for their bacteriostatic effect or for bactericidal effect so we can discuss about bactericidal test for evaluation of disinfectant these are to evaluate the ability of disinfectant to kill the microorganism and this can be done for liquid disinfectant by end point or extinction time method counting method turbidimetric assessment method in use test or in vivo test for semi solid disinfectant it can be done by end point or extinction method or in vivo method and for solid disinfectant it can be done by end point or extinction method now bactericidal test can be done by either end point method or extinction time method in end point method extinction time is fixed and concentration of disinfectant needed to kill in specified time is determined and in extinction time method concentration is fixed and extinction time is estimated now coming to the phenol coefficient test in this disinfectant is rated for its antimicrobial property with reference to the phenol under the identical condition so the similar quantities of microorganism are added to increasing dilutions of phenol and increasing dilutions of disinfectant to be tested and different organism like salmonella typhi Staphylococcus aureus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa can be used as testing organism. Now, this phenol coefficient test can be done by either suspension test or by surface filling test. First, we can discuss suspension test. In this, organism is subjected to standard concentration of phenol and different dilutions of test disinfectant. and the reaction take place under the controlled temperature and the samples are removed to standardized broth at different time intervals and, and then this broth tubes are incubated at standardized condition after a specific time of incubation the result are recorded as growth or no growth according to whether the turbidity is produced or not and suspension test for phenol coefficient can be done by using rydell walker test or by chick martin test or united state food and drug administration test or us fda test or the us association of official agricultural chemist test or adac test first we can discuss the rydell walker test in this phenol coefficient of test disinfectant may be calculated by use of rydell walker broth as culture media and salmonella typhi as sensitive microorganism and the rydell walker broth can be prepared by taking meat extract 20 g pepton 20 g sodium chlorate 10 g water up to 1000 ml and finally by adjusting ph to 7.6 and it is then sterilized by autoclave to ensure there is no presence of other microorganism now overall step of rydell walker test can be explained here we have to prepare 4 to 5 graded concentration of disinfectant and 4 to 5 graded concentration of phenol from this 5 graded concentration of disinfectant and phenol we will take 5 ml each into sterile test tube and to this we will add 0.5 ml of 24 hour broth culture of salmonella typhi and we will place the mixture of 
this solution that means the disinfectant 5 ml plus 0.5 ml growth culture in an water bath which is weighed to a temperature of 17.5 degree celsius after the addition of growth at regular intervals of 2.5 minutes 5 minutes 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes we will remove a loop full of broth from each tube and we will transfer into a 5 ml fresh rydal walker broth and this mixture which are taken at 2.5 5 7.5 and 10 minutes intervals are incubated at 37 degrees celsius for 48 to 72 hours and are examined for the presence or absence of microorganism and we will record the result in an tabular column. From this result we can calculate phenol coefficient by dividing highest dilution or lowest concentration of disinfectant which will kill microorganism in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes divided by highest dilution or lowest concentration of phenol that will kill the microorganism in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes. So we can consider one example. We have to prepare different dilutions of dust disinfectant like 1 by 1000, 1 by 2000, 1 by 3000 and 1 by 4000 and different dilutions of phenol 1 by 80, 1 by 100, 1 by 120 and 1 by 140. From this dilution we will take 5 ml of each solution. To this 5 ml we will add 0.5 ml of 24 hour growth culture of Salmonella typhi. After the addition of 0.5 ml of 24 hour culture Salmonella typhi, each tubes which containing 5 ml of disinfectant and 0.5 ml of growth are placed in a water bath at 17.5 degrees Celsius. From this time onwards, we will take sample at different time interval 2.5 minutes, 5 minutes and 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes. And at each minute, we will take one loop full from each sample and we will add 5 ml of fresh growth and then we will incubate at 37 degree celsius for 48 to 72 hours ok then the observation of this will be recorded as a tabular column so this is the observation of an Rydal walker test here we had taken 1 by 1000, 1 by 2000, 1 by 3000 and 1 by 4000 dilutions as tested disinfectants and 1 by 80, 1 by 100, 1 by 120 and 1 by 40 dilution as phenol dilutions. And these are the different observations of the test tube which are incubated for 2 to 3 days at 7, 37 degrees Celsius. This is the observation which is withdrawn at 2.5 minutes, 5 minutes, 7.5 minutes and 10 minutes. This plus sign indicate the presence of microorganism as turbidity in each tube and negative sign indicate the absence of microorganism in the test tubes which is due to the killing of microorganism by that dilution for the treatment of this much period. So consider one dilution 1 by 1000. It will show growth up to 2.5 minutes treating with 1 by 1000 dilution and it will inhibit when it is treated for 5 minutes. And all other examples are like this for 1 by 2000 it will show growth at 2.5 minutes and 5 minutes but it will inhibit at 7.5 minutes treatment. This is the same result for phenol. So from this we can calculate Rydal-Warker coefficient by dividing 
lowest concentration of disinfectant which will kill the microorganism in 7.5 minutes and which will not kill in 5 minutes divided by same effect of phenol so here there is two results two dilution which will show inhibition of growth at 7.5 minutes but there is one dilution which show growth at 5 minutes so we have to take one dilution which will kill all the microorganism in 7.5 minutes and it will not kill in 5 minutes that is 1 by 2000 dilution and for the calculation of rydell wacker coefficient we will take this dilution factor only 2000 value only. and for the phenol the concentration of phenol which show growth at 5 minutes and no growth at 7.5 minutes or it will kill the all the microorganism in 7.5 minutes and not 5 minutes is 1 by 100. So from this we can calculate the rydell walker coefficient by dividing 2000 divided by 100 that 2000 is the dilution of disinfectant which killed in which kill all the microorganism in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes and 100 is the dilution of phenol which killed in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes so which is equal to 10 which indicate this given disinfectant is 10 times effective than the phenol so that is the importance of rydell walker coefficient now we can consider another example here we are taking test disinfectant with the different dilution 1 by 1000 1 by 1200 1 by 1400 and 1 by 1600 and phenol coefficient sorry phenol dilutions 1 by 100 1 by 120 1 by 140 and 1 by 60 the green sign indicate the presence of growth and red indicate the inhibition of growth or absence of the growth there is only one concentration at which all the microorganism is killed in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes that is 1 by 200 and for the phenol there is only one concentration at which the all the microorganism killed in 7.5 minutes and not in 5 minutes that is 1 by 120 we can calculate the rydell walker coefficient by dividing 1200 divided by 120 which is equal to 10 this also indicates this is 10 time powerful than phenol now we can discuss the disadvantages of rydell walker test in rydell walker test we are using only one microorganism that is salmonella typhi this salmonella typhi is non resistant to disinfectant so we cannot study the microorganism which are resistant to disinfectant by this rydell walker test and another one disadvantage is this is a not a common pathogen to human so we cannot study the different pathogens which are pathogens to human now second disadvantage is absence of organic matters in rydell walker test we are not using any organic matters and we are not measuring the effect of organic matter on the action of disinfectant as we all know the organic matter will decrease the efficacy of disinfectant there is a long interval between samples so it will give imprecision because if the disinfectant is killing a time period between 2.5 minutes it cannot be measured now another disadvantage is tiny sample of volume we are uh, taking a loop full of growth culture for this rydell walker test and this may vary by same and different patients and different time periods and another disadvantage is lack of replication we are taking only one test tube for each time period so there will be a chance for variation and there we are using only one reaction temperature so we are not studying the effect of temperature variation to the disinfection studies and 
absence of information on toxicity of living tissue are the other disadvantages now coming to advantages this is inexpensive this is quick and reproducible result in the end of experienced workers and they are valuable to the to eliminate the useless product supply standard for crude preparation such as black and white fluid for which the chemical standards are difficult to set hope it is clear thank you for watching this video